the St. Chamon heavy tank. The Schneider CA had bypassed French Army opinion and assistance during its construction and production, which angered some officers. Eugene Brille, who worked on the CA-1 series, also refused to share the patent for his tank design with any rival companies. One rival company based at saint chamond started to develop its own tank design under technical director Colonel Emile Romelo. By early 1916, the first prototype was built at the saint chamond factory. Development was slow and it took until May 1917 for the first service examples to be ready, making it the second tank to be built by the French. The saint chamond was one of the pioneering designs featuring an armored box and based on a Holt tractor chassis. Like the Schneider, its tracks were lengthened to provide more surface area on the ground. Its propulsion was by a petrol engine that drove an electric transmission system. The vehicle's long hull meant that the tank was heavy and bulky and its weight distribution was a concern as it exceeded over its tracks forwards and backwards. Its heavy gun at the front initially made the vehicle tip nose first into the mud and it could easily become stuck this way into the trenches. The Germans widened their trenches when they learned about this. The saint chamond was armed with a 75 mm 1897 field gun at the front and had up to four machine guns around its hull. Its armor at a thickness of 11 to 19 millimeters or 0.43 to 0.75 inches could sustain regular infantry fire. The saint chamond was used less and less as the war progressed due to its poor cross-country performance, ceasing production at the 377th tank, replaced by the better Renault FT-17. It would be discovered that its best role was as a mobile assault gun to deal with German batteries. The tank saw its last major action in the summer of 1918, when 131 saint chamonds counterattacked on suitable terrain in support of the French army. A variant of the tank that it was often converted to was the supply carrier saint chamond Chardé Ravitaillement. Overall, the saint chamond was a poor design and inefficient for the cross-country requirements of the war, making it limited in use. Watch our other videos to learn more. Get your copy of Simple History World War I, available on Amazon now. Thank you for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy the channel, please consider supporting us at Patreon.